got the inside, I got, or I got the Fiat body unmolded. So that's the, that's the first half. Now I've got to glue the box together here and put my mold release in and pour a ton more silicone. Hopefully I have enough. Oh, and here's my wheels. I just mentioned to somebody in the comments that I tried another poured another set of wheels and these are the, the five spoke you can see they I mean there is a hard to get my thumb in there but there's a spot there with a spoke missing but overall they're promising I think the new resin will make a difference and here's the other two now they did not have the the small holes that are in right about there they didn't come through for some reason but I could drill them or I could just use them as is but again they're promising I think and that was just light clean up on them I didn't put any paint or anything to show you know looking at them clear they don't really show show right what you're really seeing but I'm satisfied it's a good start Alright, I got the box glued together and a little bit of clay in the top here to seal the edges. And I know you people probably don't watch my channel to watch this resin stuff, casting. There's a lot of casting channels out there. Uh, but it's part of what I'm doing, so I'm showing it. And unfortunately, because I've been keep playing with this casting, I don't get any building done. I mean, I you can see my... Australian car there is laying upside down and I mean I got a little bit done but not a whole lot and I did start a 57 Chevy here um, resin body pro mod car I cut the front cut the front clip off there's the front clip so I am doing a little bit but not a whole lot and I'm running into a problem I'm finding that since I started using all this silicone all these little parts that I'm painting come up with fish eyes so it's another you know, another thing I got to fight. Uh, I did cast a couple more scoops here, though. This one I think came out pretty decent after I do a little cleanup on it. A little bit of cleanup and some paint, and it'll look it'll look good. There's every you know, there's no bubbles anywhere, no air air pockets. Somewhere is another one I just did, which did end up with air pockets. You have the snorkel. Um, again, because it's clear, you can see through the top. It looks looks worse than it is. And this side's not bad, but the front, you can see I got a, a pocket there that was air. And a little bit at the back here, which could be filled. But I'm going to try another one. I'm loving it. <laughs> glutton for punishment I guess all right that's it for now hey everybody welcome back to the mess um, you're gonna get to witness something here either me freaking out well actually I'm gonna try not to freak out but if you'd have been here a couple days ago you would have heard some choice language I was working at this mold for this Fiat and I used um, Singer sewing machine oil, which is supposedly a mineral oil, as a mold release. And luckily, I put this, put a little layer of clay to seal the, the you know the bottom of the mold against the box, because that's the only way that I knew where I was at. But I got ahead of myself a little bit. But that apparently that oil was not a good mold release, and I had it coated. And when I went to pull this apart, there was absolutely no way it was coming apart. So I was kind of fit to be tied, thinking all this money I wasted for this resin. But I decided to take a chance on an experiment and started cutting. You know, I just started going in here and cutting and pulling and cutting and pulling and cutting and making it like a like the molds I make that are they call cut molds. Only I didn't cut. You know, I just I cut everything on the inside, and my hopes were that everything would 
kind of fall back into position again. But it, what happened was I, when I was cutting this out to get it out because of the windows, you know, everything molded around all the window openings, I ended up cutting the top off of the body, you know, the plug of the mold on the body. I cut the top off. So I took some more silicone and brushed it on. I figured since the stuff sticks to itself so good, brushed it on and set the top back on. And as an experiment, I just decided to pour some resin in, mash it together and see what happened. And I know I had way more resin than I needed because it flowed out over both sides. But this is the official unveiling here. And, and again, I used the, the shitty resin. It's not, you know, it's not the real good resin. This stuff stays sticky like forever. But, you know, it, it, it's good for a test anyway, like this, this scoop I did here. I still got a lot more trimming to do, but it actually worked. You know, this is the second one because the first one had, had a, an air pocket there where it didn't cast, which I think was this one. Yeah, that was that one you could see. Maybe you can see. I can't see what you're looking at, what the camera's showing. Let me pull it in a little closer. Maybe I can look behind it. But I think you can see here is a like an air pocket where this one this one worked much better. Like I said, I do have a lot of trimming to do. I don't I don't think there's any anything that's gonna need filling on that one once I put some paint on it. But anyway, I'm kind of beating around the bush here try and prolong the inevitable but it's time to pull it open and see what happens Let me make sure the camera's in position okay from best I can see a little bit more stable here best I can see is you got a good view here probably better view than I have so here goes there goes nothing. And I'm not sure how hard these are supposed to come out. Well, there's the bottom. Got a little sticky. I realize I screwed up too. When I, I was trying to make this be filled, the hood hole opening, which is not important, but I realized I should have trimmed it down below to give it something where... Whereas this part that was supposed to be open may not be. It's been 24 hours since I poured the resin. It's, it is a little, it's still sticky. I, this, I hate this resin. I mean, it just stays sticky for a long time. But looking down in here, let's see if I can pull the, uh, pull the flashing off. It almost looks like we might have a body. I was really ready to get on here and, and ask opinions on whether I should throw the whole thing away and give up or if I should start over. And I was never going to make try another body in my lifetime. But about 10 minutes later, after I got this cut out, I was thinking about the next body. So <laughs> apparently I didn't learn my lesson. But the next time I will definitely use something better for a mold release. Drum roll, please. I'm trying to be cautious, but I really probably don't need to be, because I, if I have low expectations or no expectations, if I get junk, I'm not disappointed. If I have high expectations and I get junk, then I'm disappointed. But it should be strong enough that it doesn't break famous last words and maybe you actually need a mold release before you pour but I've never seen people use mold release on you know pour and stuff and the silicone usually doesn't stick to anything except itself well, here it comes one spot that's holding and I think that looks like where I put these vents that's exactly what it is I don't need these vents I need to I need to block them off this one you can see this was going to be a fill tube luckily that one broke off but these two back here they broke off also once you broke the back of the body off 
should have cut them, but I'm not gonna not intending to use this body for anything. It was just a test. So let's keep working these out first. Yeah, you can see those those were my vent tubes. I hope you can see. But there's a body. Need a little bit of trimming. I mean if I was gonna try to use it. I could glue this back on, whichever the heck way it came off that way, I guess. Yeah, it just broke the broke a little bit off the back here. It's still really sticky. I just I hate this resin. I got one spot here, uh, which that was my fill tube. So if I if I block all those off in the mold here, then I do have the hole, which I didn't want, but it's not important. I mean, if I want to fill it. Anything I build is going to have something sticking out of the hood, but I wanted to be able to tailor the opening to, you know, to if it was a fuel injection or a blower or a scoop of some kind. just wanted to be able to make it the way I wanted it, but it still wouldn't be a problem to fill that in and recut it. But you can see where I changed the, the wheel opening. I mean, you can see the original, the line where the original was and the pieces that I glued on to make it smaller. Well, I'm gonna, I'm gonna not want to kill myself anyway because apparently I do have a usable mold. I would have been much nicer to have it the way I planned with using the mold release and all. But like, if I go in here with these at these holes and this hole and pack some clay in there before I pour another one, I think I'll have a real, an actual successful body. Compare it to the original. Except for breaking the back off there, I could actually, if it ever dries up hard enough that it's not sticky, I could actually have built that. And like I said, I still could if I if I glued that back piece back on. So I'm not throwing it away. I'm going to keep it for a while. Who knows if I'll ever use it, but I will pour one of the with the with the other resin. I'm just I'm, I don't want to open that yet until I'm ready to pour a lot of things because I want to try to use it all within like a week. And I have some parts, some other parts that I want to make molds for that aren't here yet. So that's probably going to be my plan. I'm going to. And clean all this. Yes, yeah, it peels right off. I mean, the resin doesn't really stick to the silicone. Let's see something here? Yeah, I mean, the resin actually has to fill down into there, where that fold is, to make a full casting. So I'm not sure if that flaw in the front of that one was because of the tube that was in there. If I broke it off, you know, when I was pulling it out, or if it didn't actually get all the way in but it should have I may leave that front one and just plug the two back ones here I don't really think I need the vent hole I don't need a fill tube because what I do is I just pour it in there smash this down and put a weight on it so other than trapping a little bit of air in the front maybe I will keep that one open I don't think it's going to trap air in the back or I'll just be more careful on molding it next time but anyway my uh, frustration was short-lived. I back to being interested again and back to planning the next body, which I think is going to be a Vega, but it's not going to be this. It's not going to be the flat nose Vega, which before they were my favorite. Um, but I think I'm going to do the get it out here real quick if I can get to it quick. Yeah, I've got the I got a 77-ish. 76, 77, 7, and probably about a year on the a year on the box. That's the box. Yeah, the one I cannot see a year. They usually put put a year on it. I mean, I'm a Vega fan, so I should know. I know it's 76 or 77. 
1976 it was made, so it must be a 76 car. Anyway, I got a body, which maybe I'd put the maybe I'd put the bumpers in it before I mold it. I don't know, or make them separate. This this will be even, it's a big enough challenge to do the Fiat, but it'll be more a little bit more of a challenge to do a regular body car where I got to do a hood and I got to do bumpers. But I'm gonna try it. I'm crazy. Alright, well thanks for watching and hope you learned uh, what not to do.